Saturday mornings at home in William Street. Um, you know when you wake up on a Saturday morning and realise there's no school today, and the boys used to, my brothers used to be uh, sleeping in what we called the garret, which was attic, I suppose you call it nowadays. And the next thing you'd hear the singing coming from the garret, and maybe a mouth organ, and you know. Just, I think, the joy of realising to a Saturday morning, but that's the first memory I have of them actually singing. The Tonkur Harignashura Hunta Hebradaran agree Larna Hebra a Hosnik Nicklancy's Nakagadi. Gun leader to spawn to Shikwig Vimer a sail, to side of the Hidva the Kultur in the Hotisha. Massam Hingu will go to Kultur now, Kutinthanshar, Ervalach, Balivyog, Koshnashura, either. Even a man, I guess, in a comerig. I guess, Tan Tan Balyahin city in Neska Tibradar, and I know Ach Love Le Le Potlariga, I guess, Le Kilkunig, and I'm Kiana. I guess, Massam Griff Severus Navcotin to the Abrishan Sterul Eganacha. Massam Hain Gerbe and on Tracian Conash Doracht, I guess, Drom Yacht, Kiantas Nordi Bahakti, a Winlish Nicklancy's. Agus Binrod Hushid Ishtach in Snishona, Agus in Sotlero, a death of Shid, a horror bon Norvig clue Agus Caller for the Down, Erang Rupa. Agus Bishan Lider and Malisha, Kurgas, the Outland and Malisha Gaki at Brianohin. Would fear now cut into death or all? No, we do. Sibli and Nadir Nokoshe, who in the Clancy's, the Gaskritaklun Ogun Tileg, Er Hamkurt Dernach, Er Ogna Eg Sula, Er Food Natira. Near even Halla Egaric Nashura, Mura Rohan, Agas Corridor Two Stash at Yola, Glun Mala, Bale at Har Vroch Nashura, Homa. My father was an opera buff, and we learned all when he was babysitting for us, he would uh, tell us the stories of the operas and sing the parts to amuse us. He'd sing soprano or bass, anything that came along. Our nets and gear were fair. On the wild and wasteful ocean, it's out there on the deep that we harvest and reap our As we hunt the bunny shores of Herring. People would just sing. It was the most natural thing in the world, even if you were walking around the house or sweeping the floor or whatever. 
my mother was always singing. Well, I suppose when I, I remember it as being always, but I'm sure it was probably when she'd be in good humor or feeling, you know, in a good mood and that. But my mother was a great one for the sing songs. She really loved um, settling down and, and having a sing song. Now that wouldn't happen very often, but on occasions, and the least excuse would do her, you know, to have a little sing song. I had an Aunt Mary Jo, and her house was a great house for courty, as they used to say, for the gathering and singing and fun and set dancing. And uh, that happened up there a lot, and I used to, I enjoyed it. And I learned a few folk songs there. And I learned little old local songs from my grandmother, and I thought that she was the only one in the world who knew them. But I met a Scotsman. I was in India one time. I met a Scotsman, and I was singing The Frog in the Well. And he started singing a Scots version. And I was amazed that he could know it, you know. Be it Paddy Agus Tom of Vogue America or Douche, Snakegadi, Vogue Joharney's Oige Liam, Tamlin Yeson, Vi Ahne Eg Liam Clancy or Tommy Makem as Ardvaka. Liam Clancy and I were in an, a play together called uh, Shadow and Substance. And the play had run for a number of months off Broadway and was going to close in a couple of weeks. And some men came to us one night, said they were opening a folk club and would we go and sing for them. Uh, at that time, you got $45 a week off Broadway acting. That was your pay. That was the same as you got in unemployment. Uh, so we asked them how much they were paying, and they said, well, we'll give you $125 a week each. And we're young men, because we figured we'd sing a few songs at night, and uh, we'd have all day to look for proper work in the theater. Uh, so Liam and I started to sing, and uh, Paddy and Tom, Tom was in a play on Broadway, I think, at the time. Uh, Paddy was running the office of Tradition Records, and uh, and some not night they would drop by and then they'd get up and sing on stage. But I remember Liam and myself, uh, we didn't know anything about it. He could play guitar. A lot of the songs we sang were, had been sung by other people, but very often in Irish tenor voices or, or solo singers beside the fire, like Brendan on the Moor was a famous old ballad, but it was, it was sung, uh, Brennan on the Moor. Ah, Brennan on the moor. He was brave and undaunted with young Brennan on the moor. But when we were rehearsing, we were in this apartment in Grange Village, and I was sitting on this couch that had springs in it, you know. I said, let's try and get the sound of, like if we could belt it out like highwaymen, you know, and get the sound of a galloping horse. And because the couch was going like this, it just got down, junk, chuck 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 junk, chuck 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 junk, chuck 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 junk. And it's Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor, bold, brave and undaunted was young Brennan on the moor. One hundred pounds was offered for his apprehension there. So he went first and settled to the mountains did repair. Did young Brennan on And we knew that we'd, we'd established something very new. We'd established a new way of singing old songs. The draw me of town, or the uh, ground on, or the sort uh, performance of on like Vakamish Hanna, or the Christian on Tahas the Rashes the Howard on. Albert Mooney said, Sell up, sir, all the boys are fighting for the rap of the door, they ring the bell, said, Oh, my true love, how are you well? Out you come, the spy the snow, brings on a finger spell in our toes. Oh, Johnny Murray said, She'll die if she didn't get the fellow with a robe and knife. The only thing for Irish songs at that time was earlier on John McCormick and then uh, people like Bing Crosby, Dennis Day, uh, who were doing Irish American kind of songs. But here we came and uh, uh, we would maybe have one microphone for the four of us to sing on, so you roared as loudly as you could so that you could be heard. Well, that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is the belle of Belfast City. She is a court in one, two, three. Please, will you tell me who is she? Albert Mooney sets it up, sir. All the boys are fighting for the drop of the door. They ring at the bell, saying, oh, my true love, are you well? Out she comes, as white as snow, rings on her fingers, bells on her toes. Out Johnny Murray says she'll die if she didn't get a fellow with the robe and knife. Let them all come as they will, for it's Albert Mooney, she loves dead. 
was a very cold winter in New York, and my mother here in Ireland read about the snow and the frost and everything, and her three sons were out in America. So she knitted three Allen sweaters and sent them out. And we had a Jewish manager, and he saw at the time Marty Ehrlichman, and he said, that's it, that's what I've been looking for. I've been looking for some identifiable uh, costume for you. That's it, it's Ireland, it's perfect. I was so impressed when I went to the first concert of the Clancy's at the kind of work they did and the kind of image they gave of Ireland. I was really amazed and delighted. And um, we started going out and yes, romance blossomed then. It filled the air with order rare and betwixt both me and you. When home you stole, you could take a fold of the book that did the mountain dew. The only person I ever asked for an autograph was Harry Belafonte and my husband was so amazed that I would ask for his autograph because he knew him very well, you know, because they were in the same business, the folk song business. I never knew the word folk music. Not till I went to America and somebody told me I was a folk singer. I had to look up what that was, <laughs> make sure I wasn't being insulted. Ní hraig sé an dúchad sa fúr sé i gárig na siúr ar agus i dibrid ar an agus sa tír sé. Ní hraig sé i gárig taigt ar na sián ar an an le abhar le pít zígar agus i sé. Ní hraig an chóir dúil le chéile. Ach chuir sé an 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 dúchad sé agus an aire sé os cúr na níní. This song is about some people who came and got a rather black welcome. Uh, I think all things considered, uh, some of them didn't do too badly. <laughs> Gorgon <laughs> <laughs> Is Queen of Bjorn and Rienschen Gromer down, push it and then all the came up, which is a state, uh, if they that were in Carnegie Hall. I guess we three wheel it down. Kieran McMahona was out in the States uh, collecting music from people who had emigrated to the States. And uh, he was around and he'd be here and there collecting stuff. And every apartment he went into, he saw album covers of these four jokers in iron sweaters. And he began to make inquiries about it. And uh, before he went home, he gathered whatever couple of two or three albums that we had out, took them back and started playing them on Radio Air. And then they just soared like a, a eagle. It's good enough. Nor how in the classes of rash America, we should the kind of Sun Olympia. As we in slow commotion, go out, who play KD in the table with than Harrington, not round to KD. Because who's if we know we in order on on Harrington, according to classes, the count the mark. Because the country does not need to be here free, not to take care of the echo. And it's a sort of spontaneity. It's not a brave young highwayman, the story we will tell. His name was William Brennan, and in Ireland he did dwell. The son of the hill with the mountains, he commenced his wild career. And many a well did not a man before him shook the tail. I'm again Galois and the Shaskadi, we miss an Irish independent, Gobbers and Irish independent, Douglas, Tonona Wine, we met Chigal Awalla, Hogger Marking Gum, Gold Trasn and Lifford, the Jean, White Horse, Chitani and White Horse, Artin Rodinagan, Dara Balam Go, Liam, 
Clancy at Torch Pressagal of Norodegan Mushin, Duradulum, Corsais Orani, Ernoch on a start in the hair, as Grosha in Rupa Egan. Near a few one on Termishin ballad group again 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 arm. Rename says paragraph of one, Lesh, we say, we say, Sapopir, Sapopir, and Majin Agus, Hosame Gimmock, and Shin, we Johan Agus. Hoikshe and guitar show Machwin more the Vishagia, Agus, Dirkus made Dalamach and Doris, Hoksha says strummering guitar, Agus Duce or Hosashe. I wish I was in Carrick Fergus only for nights in Valley Grand. Agus Maris Olgut, Honic Niklancy's couple me in Irshin, Agus. They swept the land, Marajerha. Massam Hain Gagar Hashbom McClancy's doing Gar Rud Dogwood Hain going on Shaw. Uh Rud Rud special to win the character in Valia. Uh the lyric she had uh is in the, the winter in Valia could really really not be the Nar Hagan Murfain. Mar Visha Kokonger Shin doing on uh, Anshaw. Nar Hagamar Garev character I have winterish and I'd uh I guess the Clancy's Dull, Estachin, Merica, Carnegie Hall, no Eiter Beher Down, Agus Fuel One, Nahauran, Biogax, Niklihi, Bioga Vigna Pashti, and Sha, Idacher Estache, Erfoot and Down. When in the Burdon and Aunimach, Dill and the Clancy's are in Gaunter as a Foschke Hid, Kianik Petty and Erimsha, Hosnishemer Vaukair, Gibbershemer Fain Tear, Vishen Hamani Taxi, Egobert in Rudlum, Shalish and RAFs and Ind. Usher Horan Or in Venezuela. Better go when Chechir Vienna Kriemacher Horan Hubradarden of Hilchenig. When he traveled, he found sometimes between concerts they'd have time on their hands. And being interested in, in farm and agriculture in general, he, he started going to experimental farms in the United States and in Canada. And he noticed that there was an interest in these strange new cattle from. Europe, the uh, Charolais and the Lemazan, the Kianina, the Semental, a whole lot of different types of cattle to what we had here. And um, one day we sent off an application to the Department of Agriculture to, to uh, import some of these cattle. And we first of all started with two little Charolais heifers from France. And very quickly that built up into quite a large herd of various breeds here. Crazy Tom Clancy in the sauna and they did He came from Jason people, Tammy. Way, haul away, well, haul away, Joe. Tatu saw her and Shaw, and they did no shay. Badly and Rivisha, Larry Gleam, the playboy of the Western world, Snorkland Shaw. You should hear about in Flayboy. Beatrice Harella, Bobby Clancy, is shining in the downta and both the shot. Here's the little song. <laughs> How sweet it is. I the little guy the lump, did you the little lump, did you ride in the eye day? I the little guy the lump, did you the little lump, did you ride in the eye day? Let grasses grow and waters flow in a free and easy way. But give me enough of the fine old stuff that's made near Galway Bay. And please spend all from Donegal, Sligo and lead them too. We'll give them the sip and we take a sip at the real old mountain view. Just right after his surgery in May, he wasn't quite ready to, to or strong enough to, to be aware of the facts. And then one day in the summer, we talked about the real reason why he was ill and why he was having continuing problems. And he was rather surprised at first, but he accepted it with great bravery, great courage. And from then on, we talked about the situation, and um, he was very dignified about it. Is Brown of Gul Paddy Imaha, Ak Bader Gutam Nishay, Afek and Yen of Er 
talked with Clancy's, August and Arch, a Viaco, a Stark Hill in the Heron, August and Maid, a Hoxie done culture, the Humlan and so. It was very sad at Paddy's funeral, you know, because it was another link gone. Um, but I, I don't think there will be a, an end to Irish folk song. They can't be, it's too powerful and uh, uh, and too significant. Nicola Thickelman will get a ray on, but Lam Liam, I guess, Tommy Macon, Lick Haley, and Diana Cow Lick Haley. I've done a bore and Kyle, Martin, and then they are my, you know, saying to be on your appreciate our father, Lick Haley, in a slant, I guess, in a rock, I guess, the age in. It's more a kailun to Paddy. I'm a kailun to be boss Paddy, uh, don don fobel and so. Mar we 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 she fitte fitte ishtach is sail on valia. Agus an vas eg eg muinter on valia er. Agus be war on kailun to er nos arshe don shandra he don shadi Paddy and Tom were were my big brothers, if you know what I mean. They were the the older ones, and they were. Um, I don't know how to express it now, but I think Paddy and Tom, the, 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 the chunk, the big chunk of the Clancy brothers is gone, you know? He come down here to ring when I think he realized that he was, he was very ill. And like every family, we'd had our disagreements over the years, but we had a fairly serious falling out over this. Uh, Oh, um, we're doing cruises in the Caribbean and just... Once you get involved in business you don't understand, uh, very often things get very rocky. And we had our problems and our battles and so on, but... Um, he came down to Ring, and we had to get together down in Moniz. And we had a couple of pints. We hugged each other and said, What the hell were we fighting about? few dollars or some misunderstanding nonsense let's have a song so we had a great session that night sweating our coat growing up growing old or dying the next time we met was at my sister's funeral he only it only lasted five days after my sister. You know. And again, we had a couple of pints, and he, uh, he said, I've been thinking about those trees you put in down there. He said, they do an awful lot better now if you were to take some off the top, the eucalyptus trees. And he said, those, uh, those big uh, larch trees that I put up, he said, I'm going to top those now in the spring. He said that uh, they're getting a bit out of hand. I always assumed, and everybody assumes, they're going to be famous. It's like the fella, who was it? I was, wrote recently, I was reading him, he died. He was a playwright. He wrote Time of Your Life. Anyway, he, he got cancer and he was dying. And he, his own epitaph was very nice. He said, I always knew that death was inevitable. But I always thought somehow it would be an exception in my case. I think we all feel that somewhat. Oh, all the money that air I spend, I spend it in good company. And all the harm that air I've done, alas, it was to nobody. And all I've done for want of wit To memory now I can't recall So still to me the parting glass Good night and joy be with you all Oh, all the comrades that I Me one more day. 
Have you no homes to go to? 